word problems with one-step equations. In these examples, we're going to write and then solve an equation uh, that's going to be a one-step equation pertaining to each of these situations. So Lisa is cooking muffins. The recipe calls for a total of seven cups of sugar, and she has already put in two cups. So how many more cups is she going to need? More, we're going to use plus. So she has already put in two cups, and she needs more cups. So the number of cups that she needs, plus two that she's already put in, has to equal the total number of cups in the recipe, which is seven. So now I solve this equation, C plus two equals seven. The opposite of plus two is minus. So I'm going to subtract two from both sides. The twos cancel, leaving me with C equals 7 minus 2, which is 5. So that means she needs 5 more cups. And that is your final answer. Alright, example 2. At a restaurant, Mike and his three friends decided to divide the bill evenly. Uh, if each person paid $13 total, what was the total bill? Okay, so we're going to call the total bill B. We don't know the total bill, but we know that each person, when it was divided among them, paid $13. So we're going to equal $13. Now, Mike and his three friends, so that's four people, uh, divided the bill evenly. His four, four people divided the bill evenly. Evenly, So, the bill was divided into four people, and it cost $13 a piece. So now when I solve this, I have B divided by 4 equals 13. So I multiply both sides by 4, cancel them out. So B is equal to 13 times 4, which is 52. So what that means, the total bill is $52, and that's your final answer. Example 3, how many packages, packages of diapers can you buy with $40 if one package costs $8? Okay, so we have $40 total. And one package is $8. So for every package that we buy, $8 per package. So how I would write that would be 8 times the number of packages I buy. And that's going to equal the total. So I have 8 times P equals my total. Well, my total is $40. So 8P equals 40 and then when I solve, I have 8 times P, okay, so we could think of that as times or 8P equals 40. So we have to divide by 8, divide by 8. 40 divided by 8 is P equals 5. So that means that you can buy... five packages. And that is your final answer. And the last example here, uh, last Friday Trevor had $29. Over the weekend he received some more money, we don't know how much more money, but he received some money, M, for cleaning the attic. He now has $41 total. How much money did he receive? Okay, so we want to know how much more money he got. So that would be 29 because he started with $29. And then he got some more money, so he added that to his $29. And when he added that more money to his $21, $29, he had $41. So that is my equation. And now I need to solve for M. So I have 29, a positive 29 plus m equals 41. So to get rid of the 29, I need to do the opposite of plus, which is subtract. So I'm going to subtract 29 from both sides. And when I do that, 
I see that m equals 41 minus 29, which is 12. So, Trevor got 12 more dollars. And that's your final answer. So those are your notes over word problems with one-step equations. Go through the practice problems. Make sure that you can set them up as an equation and then solve the equation. Two steps to this process. And once you can do that, then you should be ready for your quiz over this material.